<laughs> it's April 9th and I just washed the car. It's so shiny, look. Oh my God. Wowzers. Wowzers. Look at the reflection. I love, I love. Do you guys love? I just don't know how to get out the leaves right here. Like, how do you get that? The only way for me is maybe like take a little bit of the plastic stuff out and then yank it from below. But other than that, I honestly don't even know. It's so pretty. Hey guys, so it's April 11th. This is around like 1 something in the p.m. And I haven't recorded in a while, so I want to show you guys this car. My coworker, she uh, had to fix her car, so she has a rental right now, and it's an Equinox. But I want to show you like the little details that I've noticed. Okay, so the first thing is there's an Equinox M, like, what is that? A script in the headlight. And I love how when cars, they um, separate the headlight from the turn signal because at night it makes it more visible and i like how the reflectors are separated as well because um say for example the headlight over time it yellows this won't yellow and it'll still stay normal because if you look at the mercedes over here the headlights are starting to yellow and over time the reflector is gonna be uh hard to see but the paint is like a mineral black but it's like a it's like a sparkly gray black. it's like a silver black because on like the Mitsubishi, the Labrador black is kind of like the purpley color. But it's the LT trim with the 17 inch wheels. And I noticed the back, it has solid rear brakes, so it's not ventilated. And I love the taillights on the, uh, on the, uh, what's it called? The facelift model. See? Okay, so she gave me the key and I'm gonna give you a little tour of it. So. This is what it looks like. Full okay. trunk. So the trunk looks like this. It's it's a manual trunk, which is weird. I thought I guess you had to go higher up the trim to get a power trunk. Let's see if it's a capless fuel system. Yep, it's capless. And the LT gives you cloth seats, but look at the pattern, it's so cool. It's like herringbone. Oh, and then the headliner. Oh, it has LED trunk light. And then, oh, the cupboard. It's a bit dirty because it's a rental, by the way. It has two USB uh, type A, I believe. Vinyl right here. Uh, it has a pocket right here but not on the driver's side this is what the dashboard looks like it has the automatic start and stop right there in the middle this is like a cushiony like rubber a thick rubber armrest dang the center console is so deep look at that super deep that's what it looks like it has automatic up down only for the driver and i like how like gm vehicles have like the lock button right here which is electronic now there's no manual thing which is so it has push button start, but I don't like how GM makes the rubber buttons because I'm scared over time they're gonna wear bad. This is the interior. I'm guessing this is soft touch, yeah. And this is hard plastic. I'm trying to go fast because this is like a rental and I need to go back to work. Oh, it has the electronic electronic parking brake and LED map lights, which is cool. Let's look at the visor. Oh, I love how GM does that. It just turns on so softly. You saw that? Look at that. See? See? And glasses holder. And that's about it, guys. Hey, guys. So it's still April 11th, but it's around like almost 7 p.m. But let me show you guys the view. So we're just sitting on these lawn chairs because I was planning to go somewhere else for 
a different destination but then i see like this area is so scenic this is what we have and then look up right here there's like a water show that's going on i think it paused and there's just people doing their own thing and, here, and this is what is behind let me show i don't know who that is and that's lucky right here. Wow. I don't know who that is. Why are you recording me? Guys, the water show is back. This is what it looks like. Wow. And it stopped immediately as I started. There you go. It looks better in person. Guys, it's so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys the vegetation. So, give me a second. It's so windy, I apologize. I need to start bringing my, um, my, uh, my, what's it called? Microphone. Okay, let me walk around and I'll show you guys other stuff. The waterfall! Oh my god. Oh, there's a dock. Huh. Look at the little ducks. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the water, um, uh, the sprayer stuff. Actually, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna just record, okay guys? The light pole. This is what it looks like from afar. Central. Look at the grass, guys. Oh my gosh, this is so luscious. Look at this lamp. Lampanada. Not an empanada. Oh, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. This is very appreciated. A public restroom. Oh, 2012. That's pretty long ago, honestly. The grass. Look at the vegetation. Wow, look. Look, look at this, guys. Only if you guys can see. How do I fix this? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Ooh, there you go. There you go. This is what I see, guys. Look at that blinding sun. Okay. Let me... So beautiful. Look, I'm so overwhelmed with positive emotions, guys. Look at the luscious greenery. I'm in love. Look at the shape of the tree. And then you see this tree. It is a silver whatever tree. I'm always scared of these ledges because I'm like, what if I drop my phone? That would not be good. And this is the um, Summit Retirement. That's not a retirement center. It's like a center for like older people. Plants, the little plants. The Grand Prix fire. Oh, she's taking pictures of herself. Oh my god, same. Guys, look at the water show. Oh my god, oh my god. This is the summit sign. And look at that tree. Look how mature it is. Mature tree. Oh yeah, 
and the exposure, and I mean the vibrancy of the camera is picking up what I would want to pick up. Look at the architecture. And this is gonna be like the little section for like chicken and pickle and then the other. I wanna try the American Diner. Look at wow, Oh my god! Look at the sun, look at the sun. Let me, how do I? Oh, look, that is too much exposure. Oh my god. I love this. Look how close it is from the re uh, summit, the retirement, whatever, to the this thing. And then it is like so close to each other, like the way they built it. Oh, chicken and pickles over there. Wow. Okay, so if I were to walk over there, that's gonna be chicken and pickles. Hopefully, the audio is picking up. Oh, I love these. Plants! Oh my god. Look at these plants. Look at these plants. Look, oh, 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 look at these. We have this at my workplace, but these are so cute. And look at the siding. The wood siding is so beautiful. It looks like, like something you'd see in Colorado or like Seattle. Oh, up close and personal, guys. Wow. Look at this lawn, oh my god. Oh my god, it's a it's a turf lawn, what the heck? With speakers. It's so cool. Oh, oh, the lawn is squishy. Oh, I like that wall over there. Let's do some exploration. What the heck? It's so cute. Oh my god. I love the lamps. Oh, the fence. This is the restaurant I want to go to. It's like American Diner. Chicken and pickle. That's the bridge. Oh my god, that's a cute bridge. It's lit up. Look. Oh. We're, I was just sitting over there. This is literally so pretty. Oh my god, look at these trees. Oh, they're so cute. Opening July 2023, guys. Oh my god. Look at this wall. Beautimus. Oh, I like that plant. Look in there. Dang, it's pretty over here. Look at this. Oh my god. This is the parking lot. The Finch Bar Raw. Oh, it says Raw Bar. I'm like, what the heck is Raw? Fresh pies to go. Oh, they have a little like pizza shop, I'm guessing. I literally love this area. I did not know. little hay stuff oh my god and that's gonna be the hilton hotel this is like double two types of hiltons and then there's gonna be a parking garage oh i think we're on the parking garage itself actually i'm not sure i like the little um forgot what that is called it's a little uh Parking structure, um, there's a word for it. And I love these trees. Look, they know, they know how to decorate. This is the finch again. Oh, it's weird, it says freshman. Oh, pies, they literally mean pies, guys. Not like slang for like pizzas. The little area with the stuff. With the stuff. And then this is another river part. There's a little pass there yeah, with the little waters. And that concludes the tour, guys. Oh my god, guys, as I went on the other side, because I like this side because it's like secluded and it's like no one's here. 
And I love that little pine tree. It's like one of those. But look, I see peonies. Or what are these called? They're pie peonies. Look at it, they're so beautiful. Guys, look at this. I'm like romanticizing my life and falling in love with like just the overwhelming feelings of like just nature around me. I don't know if you guys can even hear me, but look at the birds above me. You see? Can you hear them, guys? Oh, they just flew by. You can see them more over there because, um, oh, they actually left because there's like the feeding area right there, but they're like just literally just flying above me. That's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The lighting is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Guys, look at this car that I just parked in front of us. It's so pretty. It's a paint job, guys. Oh my god. And it has the radar sensor on the bottom, too. See? It has a little bird doo doo, but that don't matter. Look how glossy the paint is. Wow. Look at the back. Oh, it's so pretty. Guys, today is April 12th. Uh, we just went to Family Toyota to pick up some uh, a door check for the Sienna, and then I see this GR Corolla. Right here. That's it, you see the manual, look, inside. You go, go, it's better if you go on the other side, because this one has a sticker. Look at, oh, it has fog lights too. That's it. Guys, I wasn't even recording. So this is basically the RAV4. With Blizzard Pearl, it's the XLE right here. And then I was talking about how I love the smell because that's like the classic Toyota smell. And I love how on the base models without the auto dimming rear mirror mirror, they also give you frameless, which is like such a nice thing of them to do because they didn't have to do this. But this is also this is maybe plastic. I honestly can't tell. And all the map lights, guys, they're LED. Which is so cool. So cool, guys. Let's see if it has a power trunk. Oh, dang. The door. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Oh, it has a power trunk. So this is probably the premium. Because I might just guess it doesn't come standard with the power trunk. And it's surprising how all the lighting is LED. But the thing with Toyotas, which is a big... One of a big gripe. Is their LED interior lighting is not bright at all. So I'd rather have it come with halogen and replace it with like LEDs from like Amazon because they're gonna be way brighter. And it has two grab handles, which is such a convenience. Let's see if it goes down by itself. Oh yes, it does. This is what it looks like. And it has a plastic protector for the trunk too. I love this, look at this. They did not have to do this, let's it. They added detail. Toyota's always known for this. It's the vortex generator. Oh, it's locked. But look. Where? Oh yeah, it, that's how all cars, cars come. But you can have this thing where you tell them not to remove it. So if you order a car, they don't remove it. But look, it's uh, uh, the crown is known for copper. Look at the paint. Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna turn off the dinging thing. Okay, so it's April 15th, it's a uh, Saturday right now. 
and I thought it was my sign not to go to like the gym because the whole like the parking lot's full and it's like half of it right now is like for police motorcycle training but then I was like stop making excuses and then I was like let's just go to the gym and then I was gonna call this guy to tell him that our store is closed on Monday but my heart started beating so fast because then it's like it's something like I wouldn't do like to go out of my way to call someone to tell someone that we're closed because it's not even my store like I'm just an employee but after this after I, we wait for Alexis to come home from whatever she's doing with her friend like some sporting game um, Chick-fil-a came back with their watermelon mint and it took me it took like five years for them to bring it back and I thought like I was gaslighting myself because I was like I thought it was five years too but then I couldn't believe that it was five years until like I read the article and it said it's actually five years so it took them that, that long to return the watermelon mint lemonade but then now they return it back with like you could get it with um, different types of lemonades like diet or you could get it with sweet tea or now they have the frosted version so I'm gonna get that the original and I'm gonna get the frosted and then I'm gonna record it whenever I can but I will see you guys after I go to the gym Another thing is I changed the door check on the Sienna. I'll post a picture like right somewhere right here to show you what it used to look like. But yeah, it was like snapped in the middle right here. Not, that's not the middle, but somewhere right here. But I already fixed it and it was a pretty simple repair. And then I thought on the passenger side, it was also broken, but it turns out it's so windy. It turns out it wasn't broken. It was just loose. So I'm gonna save another 150. So I don't have to spend another on the other side. Wow, this one touched me. This was my favorite. This one. 